YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Buddha back here for another Last Claudia video. We got an update. Uh, woke up this morning and saw a bunch of new news. Obviously, we had the maintenance last night, and today the new Shifteria and uh, the newest Ark has arrived. Saint Maiden, or I'm sorry, Spirit Maiden Tyria. I had to maximize that a little bit so I could actually see it. And Radius Starry Calamity, the new SSR arc that actually does look like it could be a really good uh, just general arc for any magic casters. Uh, not that it doesn't seem like it's tied specifically to Tyria, which is cool. I like that. Uh, but there you go. We got the Descent of Heroes Festival banner. I think I'm going to do a couple summons. I'm thinking maybe until we get NSSR. Not, I'm not going to be shooting for Tyria. I'm not sold on wanting her. But uh, I think do a couple summons until we get an SSR because, you know, your boy is lacking a little bit. I've got a long way to catch up. But the update also brought a lot of other stuff. I think I saw up here scrolling through. The Tower of Trials is here. Introduces floors 76 through 80, uh, which upon comp completion, you get this new LR arc, Phantom Tower, which actually looks quite insane based on my first impressions. Uh, the attribute isn't the craziest. HP plus 50%, special damage from enemies minus 20%, unit strength slash int plus 10% for every incapacitated ally. It seems like it could be super good in certain situations. It's not just a, a banger right off the bat. But the skills you can get from it, reincarnation, HP plus 2, giga blazer, giga lostoma, auto regen, and decoy. I mean, I don't even know those off the top of my head, but Reincarnation, uh, Auto Regen, Decoy looks interesting, and then Giga Blazer, Giga Lostoma, anything with Giga in the title, I think is pretty OP. And then it gives these new skills, Reincarnation, if a unit is incapacitated, revive to 50% once per quest, and HP plus 2, right? These are the, oh, these are just uh, explaining the skills that... Uh, you can see up there, and then HP plus 2 is HP plus 1,000, which is a nice little boost. So, seems like a really, really good arc based on uh, first impressions. You get first-time clear rewards for each of these floors. It looks like every five floors you get the rewards. Uh, I think I'm going to make a video just trying to get as far as I can. I don't expect to get far at all. Uh, I don't even have a full team of level 100s yet, so it's going to kind of just be a... Here's my first attempt, and let's see how we do. Uh, so it'll be, I think, just interesting to experience it and make it into a little video. There's a lot of details to this particular event that's interesting. I'll, I'll probably try and go into it more uh, when I actually do the Tower of Trials video. But you can also get these phantom equipments from this, which is really cool. Uh, I was thinking about the claws, but I'm not sure. I'm probably going to look at each one individually. If I get to the point where I can snag one, then I'll, I'll pick them accordingly. Something else I noticed, Yuletide Gifts. Look at this. You can receive sleigh rewards, uh, check your presence. They just keep adding things to this as we continue forward. So today I woke up and there was this nightmare mode. You can see I'm kind of working my way up. Or, or no, I actually did them all. I actually did them all. Uh, so they added the five stages that we've seen before on a nightmare mode difficulty level. Uh, but if you go up to the normal section, they actually added a sixth level. So you got one, two, three, four, five. But then now here's six. Upon your first completion actually gives you the Yuletide mantle that we saw was coming with this whole Christmas event so make sure to snag that I mean it's just the level 40 quest nothing nothing too crazy gives you three of these uh, items I noticed and then some more uh, event medals which I'm a little worried I'm a little worried because I'm at 6100 I'm at 6100 it's about a little over 60% of what I need to get this LR Obviously, the event's going to end and I'll have time to pick which items I want to spend uh, the medals on if I don't have enough, but I'm a little worried I'm not going to hit 10,000 because, I, I, you know, I don't have orange orb refillers to just keep spamming this event, so I kind of just 
I can only work with what I have when it recharges and I am not able to sit on my phone every however many minutes it takes to charge and then capitalize on whenever I recharge. But like I said, I'm a little worried I'm not going to hit 10k. We'll see. We've got three days left on the event. So hopefully they'll keep introducing these kind of new stages where we can get these first time clear rewards of a lot of event medals. We also got this Yuletide Gifts Gotcha. I guess this is the banner that brings back Saintly Tyria, which confused me because when I first looked in the gotcha shop, I saw this banner and thought it was the new Tyria that came out. So make sure you're not summoning on the wrong banner if you're just not kind of paying attention. Uh, I have blonde moments, so maybe you won't have that problem, but uh, just wanted to throw that out there since I almost uh, mistook this this gotcha banner for the other one. We'll, we'll look at it when I get in there. So this Christmas celebration tab kind of sums up everything that I was just trying to point out. If you, uh, oh, got a text. If you click on these little two tabs, the events that started on the 17th are listed here, but then you want to make sure you're right here on the 24th so you're the most up-to-date, uh, right? You're bringing in the Tyria Descent of Heroes, uh, shows you the Step Up banner for Paid Crystals, the Yuletide Gifts Gotcha, Tower of Trials, Yuletide Gifts, more stages in there. And then lastly, can't forget to mention, whether you pull her or not, make sure you scoop up the free uh, power-up set in the shop i'll show you where it's at if you go to this special power up set you can grab the spirit maiden tyria package for free gives you a nice bit of uh upgrade materials and then of course that 30 uh soul count for if you pull her you can then just awaken her by one level right off the bat which is nice and here it is guys here's the banner right some people are going to be hyped ready to pull for her don't forget my last video where I mentioned that New Year's banner is coming, so make sure you save a bit for that if you need a chance to snag some older units, which are still ranked some of the best, as we've seen in the tier list. Uh, you'll have a chance to do three multi-summons on that banner for what's seeming to be a discounted rate, so make sure you're prepared for that. We're sitting at a nice little 29,000, which is pretty good. I'm probably going to do a couple summons, like I said, until we get an SSR. That's the goal right there. Uh, but we're not going to chase uh, Saint Maid Interior. I've, I'm already, or <laughs> I keep calling her Saint, Spirit Maid Interior. I've already got enough heroes that I still need to work on. So even if I pulled her, I know I said it with Alice, but uh, even if I pulled this Tyria, I would not want to just dump resources into her. I want to work on maxing out my current kind of core team that I'm working with. This is the Yuletide Gifts Gotcha that I almost thought was the new banner. So make sure you know which one you're summoning on. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yuletide Gifts Gotcha and Descent of Heroes Festival. Very clear in difference. But just like we did last time, we're going to start this summon video off with the tickets. I've got a couple saved up. Not as many as last time. Just a little quick little four summon right here. So we're going to start with these three see what we can get any new arcs I'm almost more concerned about getting arcs more than I am uh, more than I am yeah let's make sure we can hear the game more than I am about getting new characters so I'm thinking we're just getting a nice couple like uh, maybe an SR no 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 looks like just some R's which is fine Nothing new, just a couple uh, ether bonuses to each uh, to each one of those rare arcs. And I believe this next ticket is a, an SR arc, so that'll be nice. Just to get a little bit, yeah, SR or higher gotcha ticket. We'll send it, fellas. Send it. Give us something. Can we get super lucky? Can we pull the SSR? If we get an SSR, I promise I'll still go back. But it looks like we're just going to get an SR because we're all alone. Kyle's all alone. Pop it. Pop it. Okay, guys. Let's go. Getting some nice little flashbacks. But, yeah. Let's just see what SR we get. I know there's some good SR arcs that to snag. But it's just going to be a repeat of that Colosseum one that we got in our Alice summons. Ew. Yuck. Alrighty. Now, here's the nerve-wracking part. I'm at 29,000. 
I don't... <laughs> crystals can go quick, man. Maybe just three. I might just do three multi-summons, call it a day, SSR or not. Because I'm not going to just chase a random SSR if we're not going to be pulling anything. Especially since this isn't a banner I'm really super hyped about. I mean, I saw there's a couple. Obviously, G, uh, Guardian Angel, Lukiel, uh, Logi is on here. He'd be a dope unit to pull. For SSR arcs, uh, Rebel Dragoons, Pirate Ship Legnus would be a dope one. But nothing too OP that I'm just like, this is a perfect banner to spend all your gems on because you can get this this it like no we're just doing it for the sake of summons and making a video so let's send it send it i i don't want to go under twenty thousand crystals i'm a bit of a hoarder right now so i'm i'm a little hypersensitive i think to what uh to what's possible here touch the screen with the mouse let's see what we get Definitely getting an SR. We've got three flashbacks, which is nice. Oh, we got an SSR already, folks. We got the SSR already. Can it be something new? No. We got a new SR arc. We got a new SR arc. This is Holy Flag of Norlean. I haven't seen that mentioned anywhere, so I'll have to check it out at some point. We got a duplicate of the God of the Dead. So... The Arc Ether's now at 10.6%. Um, is God of the Dead even in Tier 2? I don't think we've seen this Arc in Tier 2 yet. That kind of qualifies for the SSR that I said we were going to go for. I think we should go. we should go for a new SSR. Let me try and fix this lighting so it focuses on me. I'm just not close enough, huh? I need to get closer. I need to get closer. I don't like how dark I'm getting. I need to get better with how I manage my lighting. All right, new rule. We're going to do two more multi-summons, and hopefully we can get a new SSR. I think that should be the rule. Not an old dupe. We're going to try and go for a new SSR. There's plenty of options. Plenty of options, but just two multi-summons. Like I said, I don't want to go under 20,000. I don't want to go under 20,000. It's just kind of my OCD right now. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. We got a huge squad here. But that doesn't always mean something. Last time we had a huge squad, all I saw was a bunch of SRs. Oh, but we got an SSR. Okay. So, SSR, two SSRs this multi. What do we got? Ooh, yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. We just checked this SSR out uh, in the last uh, tier list video for the arcs. Tier 2 arcs. If I'm not mistaken, Doomdozer. Yes, bro. Bro. The Ether reward is dope. The stat boosts are great. And then the skills, too. Critical rate plus 10% at max HP. Decreases rate of attracting enemy attention. When a hammer is equipped, it gives you that. It gives you counter power increased. When, a, when equipped with a single hammer, physical attack damage plus 20%, critical rate plus 10%, and physical damage clap plus 2,000. I think that's just ridiculous. And then giant killing, skill and special damage to bosses plus 20%. The attribute physical attack damage plus 5%. Eventually at level 10, it becomes something really great. It's like physical attack damage plus 20% and then a bunch of other add-ons. So I'm very happy with that pull. I'll definitely take that. I might throw that on uh, Ray. I've actually got a combo in mind that I would like to test, but it's going to take me a while to get there. Uh, it's gonna. Um, I'm going to have to do a... A uh, couple things. That would be super nice if that arc included hammer equip. Because I don't think I have an arc that allows you to equip hammers yet. But yeah, look at this. Zervaga Sledge is what they call it. It is a 6 star hammer. But it gives you 200 strength at the battle star int and mind. Minus 10% added to strength. So... That coupled with the fact that this skill reject 
keeps enemies from attacking you, as long as you're not getting hit, you're dishing out a ton of damage. So I'm happy about this, uh, happy about pulling this arc for sure, because you know me, I like my, my, my physical damage dealers. And uh, that's good. I'm going to leave off right there, 23,000 crystals, that'll do it. Uh, make sure you're taking advantage of all the Christmas stuff. New Year's is right around the corner. I'm excited to see what that banner looks like. Any news that I notice on the way? Oh, there's right. There's this. There's this giveaway too. So don't forget that we mentioned that in the in the previous video as well. So that's gonna do it. Y'all know what I say. Work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.